Today on Risk Spirits and Gear, we shoot out a couple of rectifiers. It is no secret that I am a mega, mega rectifier fanboy. And I've done some videos in the past regarding the differences between some of the older and some of the newer dual rectifiers from Mesa Boogie. But I have never done a comparison with the multi-watt version of the dual rectifier versus an old original two channel dual rectifier. Now, the last time I did one of these comparisons, I did a Mark I three channel versus a Revision E two channel dual rectifier. And this time, we are going to do a comparison between a brand new multi-watt dual rectifier and a Revision F two-channel dual rectifier. Now, I'm about to get into some technical details and jargon and things like that, so if you want to just skip all of that and go straight to the sound clips, uh, click on the timestamp down below as noted right around this area, but you will be missing some very important information. But you can go ahead and skip. My feelings won't be hurt at all. Now for this comparison, we are going to do two different things. We're gonna do something a little different than I have done in the past. There is no mix. We're not going to listen to anything within the mix. What we're going to do is we're going to use an Ernie Ball Armada uh, for a humbucker guitar. Now this is a hot paffy Les Paul-like guitar. And we're also going to use my Fender Strat loaded with Fishman uh, Stratocaster pickups. And we're gonna use the bridge position of both guitars. Now, the first pass, we are going to compare the amps at noon. Now, some things to note between the two different amplifiers, just because the controls are at noon, does not mean the potentiometer, the pot values are the same. And they're not in this case. They're very, very different. Uh, the new Rectifier has much more of a sweep versus the old one. The old two channel rectifiers, the EQ didn't do a ton. There wasn't a ton of sweep in any individual EQ frequency. So putting everything at noon is just to give you a direct comparison right up the front. Now, the only exception with both amplifiers is I put the presence at around eight o'clock, the sweet spot as pointed out and as directed per both the old and new amplifier manuals, okay? So the presence will not be at noon. It will be at like eight o'clock-ish, somewhere around there, but they are the same on both amplifiers. And for a cabinet, both amplifiers are going into my very old 1996 uh, dual rectifier 4x12 cabinet, formerly owned by Art Alex Akis of Everclear and toured on so much for the Afterglow tour. Very, very broken in speaker cabinet, and it sounds incredible. I used two SM57s and the Fredman Technique, one on axis, one off axis. So you're gonna hear a comparison between two guitars for the clean channel, two, both guitars for the orange channel, and both guitars for the red channel. Then we're gonna talk about it, and then we're gonna do it to taste. And that's me dialing in the amplifier, each individual amplifier to how I think it sounds best. And then we're gonna compare those sounds as well. So let's get to the comparison with the EQ at noon.
All right, so now that we've heard how the amplifiers compare with everything at noon straight up the middle, I will now dial in each amplifier channel and mode as best as I think it sounds while listening to it over my studio monitors. That is the green channel, the orange channel, uh, uh, vintage uh, voicing on the two channel rectifier is the same as the two channel, uh, second channel on the multi-watt in vintage mode. It is not on modern mode, it is on vintage mode for channel two and the red channels. So yeah, this is how best I thought they sounded. I didn't actually wasn't going for a uh, similarity I, per se. I wasn't a being them and then dialing in differences. I just dialed each individual amp as I thought it sounded best. So what you hear is how the amplifiers are sounding. And again, there are no, there's no post-processing of any kind. Uh, what you're hearing is straight out of the amp and going straight into uh, my interface and there is nothing added in post whatsoever. It's just you're hearing the actual raw amp sounds coming out of the speaker cabinet. So let's do it. Coincidentally, it also happens to be the 25th anniversary of the dual rectifier, and I would like to shout out and thank the nice folks at Mesa Boogie for loaning me this multi-watt dual rectifier, and also thank you to my buddy Aaron Smith for uh, loaning me his Revision F dual rectifier so I could make this video. My hope is that you guys uh, that are fans of the rectifier series are able to get a good comparison between these two amplifiers and all the actual raw audio files are also downloadable for your very own consumption down below in the description. You've been wonderful, I have been fluffed. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.